If I'm being real, do I speak my truth or do I feel to how I feel? Welcome back to Liddy Reacts. So today I'm going to be reacting to, I think it is another Outer Banks interview with Madeline. So yeah, let's just get straight into this reaction. Let's go. I'll turn it off a bit. You look so good. Yeah, it's another interview. Thank you. I had a. I think I she talks put, about like, the film The Giant. Yeah, it felt nice. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, how does it feel? How does it feel so to have to get all glam? It's nice. I miss, like, you know, we do pretty minimal makeup on Outer Banks. And um, obviously, oh. I haven't been really putting on makeup because we've just been sitting inside and just lazy and don't feel like it anymore. So it's nice to have a full face yep. and hair done. And a good excuse to do it, too. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where, where are you right now? Charleston. Okay, so you're you're back home. Are you filming at all right now for Outer Banks? We are. Yeah, I'm. I have the day off. Today is my off. When day. was this? Um, nice. And after this, I get to go. Get oh, six to days ago. They're filming for Outer nice. Banks um, at the moment. It's my my tri weekly lobotomy. Yep. And um. <laughs> but actually, it depends yeah, when this, this is, was made. When was this, this made? In Charleston. Let me know what if do you, you know. Do on your day off. Anything. Most else? days. Um. Most days just uh, hang out, uh, prep. Yeah. We've been, um, our shoot schedule this year has been insane. It's been moving so fast. And so, like, really? keeping up with wow. work has been, like, it feels like I'm, sh like, just barely treading above water. And, oh, um, you know, the stakes feel higher. So just coming to work prepared is so necessary because you don't, by the time, like, you feel like you're just getting into a scene right. or moving on to a ne the next one. And so, I just um, want to know so whether they found prep, the gold. Um, I will usually take Milo to the and golf park. And whether Sarah's dad. And, I forgot um, his name. Watch him run around for what like an hour, dad called? hour and a half. Let him swim, roll in the mud, do whatever. If he goes yeah. to prison, and, I want to uh, know that. I don't know. Yeah, that's maybe drink wine at the end of it. <laughs> Nothing crazy. And one of the things that for it's you do, it's called tomfoolery, right? That's what you mm -hmm. call it? You have to put all that on hold, right? Because you can't do any teasers from season two. Yeah, what is that's that? the thing. Is like we yeah. have so we have so many funny moments that we've captured oh. from season two already that we can't share. So we're just kind of oh. we're just Waiting. we're just loading up on all <laughs> these fun moments and these funny videos beautiful. together, so we can drop them when yeah. we when season two drops. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of it makes me sad because people ask me and they're like where's Tom Foolery and right. I'm like y'all I really messed up I, I put like 10 videos in one post at a time for too many posts and now I'm out and I wish I could do more out. but I can't Aww. um but it's I keep telling people it's coming please it's don't coming. worry like we we are going to continue this series it will never end it will not end no it will years not from end. now it'll still be happening it'll still be going well <laughs> That's a and bonus. also, we want to talk about the giant. When did you mm -hmm. film that compared to Outer Banks? The giant Ooh, that's shot a good question. in the summer of 2018. Well, life oh, for wow. you is probably a lot different now than when you filmed that. So, that's are like you excited to like see ago. yourself in this film because it, so much has happened since then? Yeah, I mean, it it premiered. I was able to go to the premiere at TIFF, which was right. really really cool. TIFF is an amazing film festival, um, and because of I was able to go for two years in a row, which was kind of a dream come true, and um, and that that was a lot of fun. So I've I've seen it I've seen it multiple times. I've watched it a couple of times, and and I'm I'm immensely proud of it. And I can't wait for people to see it. It's definitely different. It's a coming but of it's age a story, horror. but in a completely different Isn't it? tone and, and thriller light. horror thing. So um, it's it's very much of a thriller. It's very psychological. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And throw back to your dark hair because you had dark hair. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? <laughs> the brunette oh, versus wow. the blonde. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I like better. Sometimes I'm like, man, I, I, I want to go back to my natural hair color, and then I have days where I, I'm like, you know, I like the Sarah hair. Relatable. It's fun. I think I think I'll go back to to brown eventually, but I'm I'm living with the blonde. And then we're gonna play a little friends tag with you. That's so relatable because so sometimes I'm like, you would I want to dye my hair again. Like okay. pink or something. Last friend you texted. But I'm actually Chase. all right with my hair like this at the moment. Do you remember what you said? But um, you have those days. <laughs> yeah, actually, so funny story. I um, I had another interview earlier, and he crept into my apartment, yeah. and he like came up 
behind me and he said hi and I immediately got nervous and started sweating and so I um I just have a picture of my pit stains (laughs) nice yeah that's a (laughs) miscasual one guy with (laughs) sex I was like this is your fault (laughs) it's fine uh funniest person you think that appears in the tomfoolery posts man i don't Ooh, know good question uh, she's got a good question dude. you know can i say you get some above? yeah <laughs> okay. you get some funny, interviewers yeah. that just yeah. don't ask great uh, questions like, first at all person you texted when chase posted the picture of you guys or like you already know um, the answers to the question my best friend in la caroline mm-hmm. and who was the first person that texted you when they saw it so the first person who texted me, um, uh, so I was, I was actually with, I was in um, Emerald Isle, North Carolina with my friend Elaine and Lila, mm-hmm. and uh, we were all there, and I was, I think I was, like, taking a bath or something, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure what I was doing, but anyways, they were in their next room over, and right. Chase posted the picture, and they texted me, they were like, oh my god. It's out. You posted about it, yeah, yeah. So they were there. They were, we were just texting each other. That's so funny. You're like, room. yeah, going in there and texting. Yeah, they were like, come out here right now. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm so excited right for season two. Like, okay, what's oh, going no. on? Like, is this bath time? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> just a major, major thing in your life just happened. Yeah. And Does that's anyone that's know, like, like round about what? About it. Like, yeah, I'm, like. <laughs> What time's over. date? Yep. And then the last person you FaceTime. What date is coming out? Is there uh, a new date? Last person I FaceTimed, my mom. Oh, where's she? Yeah. She is. She's in Charleston as well. They oh. live. They live right outside of Charleston. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Still, still close. But. Yeah. She asked. She wanted to ask me from my dad if I had changed the oil in my car yet. Yep. Oh. Tip. Totally. As dads do. Totally as dads okay. do. Everything is fine about that. Great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Good luck filming season Aww, two. Oh, this was a great thank interview. Stay safe. But a great thing to watch. Great video. I loved it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.